What's up everybody, it's Barrow with a Gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Subnautica Below Zero. Um, if you'll recall, in the last episode, when I said I needed Ruby to um, build the teleportation part of the sea truck, I, well, last uh, we, we ended running away from Wormy, and uh, I lost my snow fox, which I'm still, you know, it's, it's still fresh. Um... But, you know, so I went back through the gate, and I was like, I'm going to go back and build another sea fo or snow fox. And then I was like, well, hold up. Might as well go get some ruby on my way back before, you know, so I can build the teleportation part of the, the, the truck. Right? It sounded like a smart idea to me. Um, so then I was like, all right, well, let's go do that. Um, and I ended up here... And it occurs to me that while I was following along going, eh, whatever, you know, like, I got, I got stuff, I can do stuff, I don't need to worry too much about it. Um, I then realized I've never been here before. <laughs> I kept going lower and lower because I was like, well, I gotta go find, you know, Ruby, it's gonna be deeper, right? And I kept going deeper and deeper and deeper and I just was following long places that I always thought I had been before and uh, then I started seeing these weird plants and I was like what is that so I went further and I went further and then there was volcanoes and I went past that finding a lot of ruby but then I was like hold up I don't think I've been here before <laughs> so I decided now was a good time to start the episode in case I ran into anything shocking and crazy although I do kind of feel like I'm tying back into where Margaret's place was or is because that's like the roots so i mean on a good note we found yeah because that's the pingling isn't it the one that i scanned and it gave me some uh note thing about maybe maybe not maybe not maybe i didn't scan that i thought there was a note or something about something that sam did while i was here i'm gonna scan it because everyone keeps telling me you need to scan everything um, so the biome changed on me real quick. I guess I'm in the lily pad area now, but screw it. We've got a depth thingy now, so let's just go further. What could possibly go wrong? And I feel like you can get away with that if you say it ironically, knowing that something could go horribly wrong. If you say it non-ironically, ergo seriously, then I feel like you're asking for trouble. Kind of like never say it's a quiet night, you know, stuff like that. You never go, what could possibly go wrong? But if you're like, what could possibly go wrong? This is a terrible idea. I feel like it, it nixes the jinx. That's that's my philosophy anyway. Uh, we'll, we'll see how well that goes. Still don't know what these guys are. But they kind of creep me out that they like change colors and stuff when you get close to them. It makes me feel like it's a proximity time bomb thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is definitely... This is definitely What's-Her-Face's place, Margaret's, or her old one. Anyway. You know, I feel like we went through and did all that, but I do wonder if there was anything I missed, but I don't think I'm going to check it. So now two things are happening. Uh, one of them being I'm feeling a bit turned around, because now it kind of went around in a loop, and I don't really know... I was at I think this was it maybe let's go this way this seems like no, that's gonna loop back around I think so I think this is where we came from so yeah I'm kind of getting a little turned around but also um, a little underwhelmed because I was like ooh new biome and either I went the wrong way Oh, wait, maybe? I think this takes me back to the way I came through, because I came through a volcanic area and then kind of had to go up. So I think I'm retracing my steps at this point. That, look, yeah, okay. Uh, but I figure it doesn't really hurt to show you guys since you didn't really see me do this to begin with. Um, and there's kind of this... I keep looking for other access points or entries, but I think that just... Oh, wait, 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 what is this? 
I don't remember seeing you. Don't burn me. Please don't burn me. Okay. You're new. Well, not really new. I just probably didn't notice it because I feel like this whole area loops around. I came in through the ceiling somewhere. I'll take that. Margaret's been here. That's a surprise. What are you? Thermal fragment. I guess I already have that. Might as well grab another ruby. And some lithium. Can never use. I feel like uh, lithium and not so much ruby. Lithium definitely you can never seem to have too much of. Alright, let's see if we can get out of here now. Trying to remember, was it this way or is this back? Oh, this is okay. I'm I'm dumb. I just realized these are energy connectors that are basically going to trace back to Margaret's place. She was using it as a she was using the vents as a thermal source of energy. That's what that thermal plant's for. Okay. So yeah, I kind of just went down next to this jellyfish, this giant jellyfish thing, which I'm still not convinced is not necessarily a leviathan class thing that's trying to gonna try to eat my face eventually but you know i don't know that i've ever really gone lower this away what's that oh are we in lily pad territory i think or is that the twisty bridge area? Because I got thinking about it, and like I said, I was originally looking for Ruby, but then I was like, you know, I could just go as low as I can possibly go and see what's down here. Because there were some areas that I don't think I ever really explored. And so I just started kind of pushing down and ended up down there. I feel like this takes us back to the outskirt area. Where I don't really have any desire to go again. That's back that way. This still has some of the plant life looking stuff. Oh, that's that's back to the membrane. I, I, I feel like there's got to be something that you're eventually supposed to do with this thing. Even if it's like an early access thing and in the full release it will. It's just this giant jellyfish and I'm like, you can't, you can't tell me you just put that there for scenery. That doesn't... I'm not buying it. Alright, so I guess we're just gonna surface at this point, although this is an interesting structure. Whatever this is. Ooh, what are you? Interesting. Oh, purple! Nearby thermal vent hosts large number of organisms. I don't think I heard that one before. This is weird looking. Oh, there's another one! Oh, there's two of them! Wait, are there, are there two of them, or am I seeing things? <laughs> Did I get turned around? Wait, so is, if that's the one that I saw, maybe that is further. I'm confused. Okay, I really expected there to be something here. All right, I need to keep an eye on that guy and see. There's another one over here. Because if there's another one over here, then there's two of them. Oh, there is another one over there. So who are you? Interesting. I didn't know there were two of them. Nope. Don't want none. You're squawking something behind me. I'm gonna shock it. Um, that's interesting. You stay there. Had enough trouble with Wormy. I'm not losing my truck. Hmm. Intriguing. I can't tell if I'm in a different biome or if it's just an area of a biome that I haven't seen before. Oh, that's one of those whales. Okay, that took me a minute. I don't 
don't think I've seen this many mushroom trees before. Uh, well, hold up. No, I think I've been here before because this is one of the wrecks, and I think we did all the wrecks. Yeah, and the the area is changing to that greenish look. All right, I'm gonna say that we've done this area then. But at least we have the ruby now, we can make the, um... We should be able to make the teleportation area, or, er, uh, uh, module. Alright, so, I went back to our base, and I collected up some stuff, I offloaded some stuff. Actually, I'm going to offload this guy. Cause, I'm either using it wrong, or my instincts are not to use it the right way, kind of thing. Because, like, I don't want to just leave it sitting there. But, at the same time, if I keep dropping it and picking it back up, it just didn't seem to really do anything, and Wormy was still kicking my butt. So, I don't really see the point. What is that? Oh, is that the... Oh, 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 that's the, that's the lily things. Never mind. The way they were... <laughs> the way they were sitting there just looked different. Alright, so let's build ourselves a new... Uh... Snow Fox first. I figured I'd come out here and build it, and then on our way back, we'll hopefully it be. Ooh, it's dangerous. Like the uh, Northern Seek Lights. Shelter. That's cool. I don't know if I've seen that before. That's really cool. Um, but yeah, I figured we could stop by the vehicle base thing um, on our way back. Come on. Interior? Does it have an interior? Whatever. I do kind of feel like with these, when you click on uh, this, I feel like it should give you almost like your tablet thing. Like it should come up a bit more um, like in your face type of thing, if that makes sense. This is kind of difficult to eyeball. I'm sure that's good enough. Alright, so... board. Let's get it back over here. Oh, and... The other thing... Is the upgrade panel. I did get a... Ice Worm attack reduction one, instead of a jump. Because I really didn't find... Jump in, the, the jump module all that useful. Um, so I figured this time we'll go with a resistance module, because that would probably be more beneficial since... Although, I, in one of the comments that I was reading on one of my other videos, previous episodes, um, somebody did mention that it seems... I'm not sure if it, there was any way to confirm, but it seems like the, um, the, wor the ice worms attack more when they're when you're on a snow fox versus in, on foot. I tried that before I started recording this episode, and to me personally, it just seemed like I was getting attacked anyway, so I don't know if it, or they could have patched it or something too. All right, let's get a sea truck teleportation module, because that sounds fun. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to pilot this guy around. Still being built. Okay, that's the front part, I think. I do not really know why the backup camera went away. Uh, it used to have a backup camera, and then they patched it. But they patched the game, and then it was like, no backup camera. And I'm not really sure what that was about. I mean, it was glitched, I'll give you that, because it didn't include the water and it didn't look right or anything. Ooh, this is cool. All right, so now, now with that in mind, um, we're gonna start carrying our tether tool with us. Um, and let's see what else. What else? What else? Um, I'm gonna leave the repair tool here, I think, and we're gonna put where'd it go? We're gonna put the tether tool there think is a good idea. And I'm carrying one of the, um, 
ion cubes with me as, uh, also, just in case um, I find another gate or something. Alright. Now, one way or another, we're going to head back to this beacon because uh, I don't think I'm going to do round two with Wormy, even though I've got the upgrade and everything on my Snow Fox now. Because, based on what I could tell, I don't know that there was anything else there. Oh, also, I've also realized that this map thing, I've been reading it wrong. Um, I was reading this as, like, this is the shallows and all that, and then this was the, um, facility with Sam's stuff and the penglings and all that. And then what I realized was, this is the base, and this is the gate, this is the door. So, this, or these, rather, are the two entrances from where we land way out here, and then here's the bridge and blah 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 blah. So I've been reading this map all wrong. <laughs> the only exception might be that this may be the bridge? I'm not sure. I don't think it is, because when you cross the bridge, there's a left and a right path. So I definitely feel like we, I've, I've done all of this incorrectly, or, or at least been looking at the map incorrectly. Um, and I've also read on one of the wikis that there is a location on that island where if you use the pingling you can find the sample or cure or whatever for the leviathan thing. So I'm tempted to go back there and see if we can find it. Um, and the other thing is like I said when I was look when I was looking at like the thing with the ice worms and stuff the area there I personally don't no, I, my memory's not 100% on it, but I don't know that there was anything else left there to really explore. Um, I feel like we explored a lot of the area, and the rest of the area kind of ended up going around in circles, was the vibe I was getting. But I don't know if I missed a turn or didn't see a hole in the ground somewhere, you know, those types of things. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to use the pingling and go hunting for the cure thing first. And if we can't find it or something, or if we do and then we're done with that, then we'll, you know, <laughs> we'll, we'll do round two with Wormy later, basically. Where? I have to remember where the dock is. Okay, so we are back here at, I think this is the Phi base? Is it Phi Robotics? Phi Robotics, yeah. Um, so I also realized something else about this. I think these are Pengling locations. Not only are they Sam's um, research points, which she was researching Penglings, but also I'm just thinking of location. That if this is right next to the left tunnel there, which is because there's the right one and there's the left one, right. Whoa, camera. Figure. Dude, camera. Nausea inducing. Stop it. There's one right there. So I'm almost thinking this is pingling spots. Now the one interesting part to this is I was looking at the map. I always went this way. I don't think I went this way. Which seems like it should be up over there. So we're going to try that. Man, I'm glad I, I decided to bring my um, repair tool. And I'm kind of glad because these snow fox things are about as brittle as... I don't know... Um, old people bones. <laughs> I was trying to figure out another example there. That was just the first one that came to mind, but I digress. Um, Alright, so let's see. I'll be dip. There is another spot. I don't remember. I don't think I even noticed this, or if Dangerous. I did... Weather approaching. Seek shelter. If I noticed it, I was like, we'll come back and do this, and then I never came back. Alright, where's... So you don't really have anything going on here, and then we're gonna probably hit water. I should've brought a sea glide. Oh well. Hey, I just realized this is another path to mountains. May not have gone that way yet. Okay. So... I'm not uber worried about exploring all of this for two reasons. One, it's pretty close by. It wouldn't be hard to get back to. Um, the other being that 
on the map, it doesn't really show us anything. Now, the other bad thing is I don't actually remember if I've done this before and didn't realize it in terms of... Did I go this way and not know it? What goes that way? That's not on the map. We have water. Not quite yet. What goes this way? Probably a snowstalker den. Definitely feeling a snow doc snow stalker den vibe. Yep. Yep. Nope. Nope. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Don't want none. I will say the snow stalker makes it a lot or the snow fox makes it a lot easier to get away from them. Okay, we got a point here. Oh, there's water. Okay, it loops back around. Yeah, this is actually pretty accurate. Alright, we're doing pretty good. I did get the color wrong on that, but what are you gonna do? Uh, ooh. I kinda wish I had my sea glide on me. Ooh, this is... Ooh, this looks very green. I wonder if there's an alien architect situation going on here. We're not... Let's make sure we're topped off, and I guess we're gonna go do this. Um, also, I probably need my laser cutter. I have it on me, but I don't have it on my hotbar, which I probably should have. Because this feels like what we went through with that other tunnel. Oh, I hope it doesn't take me back there. It probably does. Oh, uh, maybe not. I just thought of that. Ooh, waterfall. I don't think I've seen that before. I do think we're in a new territory. Definitely feeling like we're in new territory. Did I hear growling? I hope I didn't hear growling. Nope. Yeah, see this mountain thing? I'm kind of hoping that that doesn't take me to the ice worm area because then we wouldn't have anything new to explore. Though it does seem like right when we get out of this cave there's a penguin spot right there. So that should be helpful. Okay, there's that. That looks like the way out. Ooh! What? Oh, snow. <laughs> I thought I could actually pick up the crystal for a minute. I was like, what in the world can I do with that? Okay. Alright, alright, alright. So we're out here. Kind of looks like wormy territory, but I don't hear him. So that's good. And we should be looking for, as the gap narrows, there should be a penguin spot. Anywhere? Anywhere at all. And let's see, that's the exit. Okay, so it should be on this side over here. Theory. Probably back in here where no one would ever look. Yep. Where is it? What's what's making noises? Oyave. Low flower. See, uh, the other thing I'm noticing is all the penguin spots seem to have these. Probably Sam put them there, I'm just saying. Alright, uh, let's drop this little guy. Really wish I could see what I was doing. Gosh, I cannot see a thing. Like, does this penguin not have flashlights on it? Seriously? I mean, it does, but look how dim that is see my hand in front of my face and that's not even my hand. Oh lord. This cave wall is making it even worse. I can't see anything. You know what? Um, let's exit out. I wonder if I can throw- I have another flare. I'm gonna try and throw a flare down here. Um, how do we throw it? Right click. 
Let's see if that helps. Because... I mean, that kind of helps. Yeah, okay, it kind of helps a little bit. Not a lot. There's actually... Nothing here. Unless I'm... Sorely missing something. Nothing here. Um... Can I pick this up? Sweet. Alright, so that was kind of a waste. Okay, so I'm at this point. I checked this one. There wasn't anything there, but this one looks a little more promising. Because you see that in there? I'm not sure what that is. It almost looks like a chest that I may have already opened, but I'm not sure. Spy penguin online. So, I figured we'll take a look. Aha! The Kaha There it is! Pick up Kahara Antidote. What's this? Looks like an antidote. And I'm also collecting like the magnetite and stuff in here when I can because I really haven't found it anywhere else. Um, so let's go back down here a minute. There's some more magnetite. I think there's another one over there. And that should fill us up. Awesome. I think that one's clear. And I'm not 100% sure, but I think we've cleared most of the other ones. I know there was at least one other one that we've explored. Um, oh, that was weird. It looked like there was something else in there. Um, the uh, There was one that I'm not sure about, but I don't know that we need to explore it because per like the wiki and everything, I haven't seen anything that said there's anything in it. So we hit these four, and there's only this other one, but I think we've checked that one, because there's one in this area that I've checked before. We fell somewhere, and there was there was one there, so I'm assuming that's the one that I checked already. Okay, so into an injectable container of Kahara Antidote. So, what I'm thinking... What I'm thinking is... I'm trying to remember where that other facility is that has... You know what? Let's actually check and see where this goes. All we'd have to do, we're right about here. So we gotta go this way, back through the trees, and over in this section, because I don't remember if if I've been there or not. So let's drop you. That's the entrance that we came in from. Nope. Uh... Okay, so I'm guessing this way. Oh, no. Wait, maybe. Oh, no, I probably have to be up there. Or up top, don't I? Probably gotta be up there. Okay. So we'll come out this way. And... Hope this works. Because I think we gotta go through some talker territory here. Pretty sure it, it is nice to have a map because I am pretty sure I've been through most of this area already, like this area and stuff. It's like this looks all pretty familiar, and I think this is gonna spit us out in yep in the tree area. Okay, we've been here. So there's the base. According to this, we need to basically wait. I have I have been there before, haven't I? Isn't that one of the alien facilities? I think. Oh boy. That's a stalker. I feel like it's one of the alien places that we went to before, but not the place I'm looking for, I don't think. Maybe it is. I haven't been there in a minute. Whoop! Jeez! That almost was terrible. Alright, so we're in the tunnel thing at this point. Good lord, I hate the camera controls on this. I apologize anytime I get on a snow fox. Because this is this is hard to. I'll be dead. I ended up right where I wanted to be. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, I think this is it. Yep, that's it. That's pretty awesome. Meant to do that. Knew exactly what I was doing. Just in case any of you thought otherwise. Hundred percent. Um. 
Alright, so we need to go up top. Oh, man, the collisions, guys. Next update. Come on. Give me give me some collision correction. Good grief. Okay. Uh, no, I didn't mean to drop that. I keep right-clicking things for some reason, thinking that it's using them, but it's just dropping stuff. Okay. So now this says standby. Aha! Insert sample. Here we go. Now that I have the sample, let's see what happens. Oh, okay, now that I've got that, that guy's gonna go inject it. Okay. Cool, cool. Might have this as a thumbnail. Because it depending on what happens, it looks kinda cool. I believe the antidote was effective. Without it, the bacteria could have spread. Now it cannot. Your sister's memory will live in you live on in you through this just something to that effect. They're not, they're not dead, they'll live on. It feels good doing this one last thing for Sam. I feel like I got some closure out here. My people do not experience endings as you do. Do humans feel joy in realizing that you've reached the end of something? Sort of. Sometimes closure is a sense of resolution, like knowing that even though I'm still heartbroken, I'll be okay. That's a pretty good some uh, assessment, I suppose. Architects find contentment in all moments in time simultaneously. What you experience sounds more fulfilling than contentment. Fulfilling is a great word for it. I did what I came to do. I found out what really happened to her. I learned a little more about the person I've looked up to for, well, my whole life. I wish I'd told her that more, and I got to finish what she started. Okay. She would have wanted this contained to keep everyone safe. She always wanted to make a difference. I feel grateful. I can give her that. I just wish I could have said goodbye. I know this is still work in progress. I have noticed that sometimes it seems to help you to talk. Would it help for you to say it now? Uh, you are uncomfortable. Yes, but maybe you're right. <laughs> You're my hero, Sam, forever and always. I'll tell everyone I know about you and the difference you made in the world and in me. I love you. Goodbye. Woo! That's a good one. Um, I know this is still a work in progress and they're not done with it and everything, but I am curious if that's really like the end or going to be the end where it's like, yes, there's closure. Yes, you found out what happened and blah, blah, blah. But I still kind of feel like maybe there was some kind of ulterior scheme thing going on that Altair is covering up stuff and yada 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 yada. But anyway, with that said, I think we're going to wrap things up here for this episode. We're almost out of time. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.